Oh, I really turned this off before I was ready. I even checked myself. Mm. So, I love more than anything whenever people try to be a holes to an ex and it backfires, okay? Like, it is just the most, like, it's just so funny to me. And, um, which a lot of really twisted things are hilarious to me, which is, I don't know, just how I'm wired. So, let's say that you have, um, let's say you, you bought a house and somebody, whatever, and you're going through a divorce or you're not divorced, everybody's dragging their feet, blah, 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 blah. Nobody's going to sign off on anything, but nobody's making payments on a property that you own with somebody. Oh, my skin looks really good to learn. <laughs> Anyways, and, um, and somebody, one of the, one of the spouses, the one that has maybe the name or, ha I don't know. Anyways, let's just, this shit happens, okay? This shit really happens. One of the, one of the people on the mortgage decide, um, screw, screw my ex. I'm, I'm not going to make house payments on this. And both of our names are on it. Okay, I'm going to let it foreclose and let their credit get ruined, too. <sighs> well, let me tell you what happens whenever a property forecloses. It's so different than what people think. Um, or the common perception. So, whenever a property forecloses, it no longer is, like, sold, really, to the public at a great discounted rate. Okay? It's just not. Um, there are all these businesses, companies that were formed that go, that get a heads up, they work closely with banks, with lenders, and they show up at the courthouse the day of foreclosure where shit's auctioned off at the courthouse, okay? They show up, they have hundreds of thousands of dollars cash in hand, and the lender, the, the financial institution, by law, and I say that loosely, is required to um, sell the property at fair market value. Now, where do they get that fair market value? Who fucking knows? Who knows? Okay, because usually it's not fair. Okay, so so these these businesses that are formed, these investment companies, they're in the know with bankers. They show up at they show up at the courthouse the day of auction, and they buy these houses, right? They're the ones that are getting, you know, the, the discounts. They show up with cash, cut the check. Now they own the house. They turn right back around, list it for however much more, and make money. Boom, boom. Now, guess what? So, so the bank took a hit. Let's say you owed $100,000 on that house, and it goes to foreclosure. And an investment company buys it at fair market value at the steps of the courthouse for seventy thousand dollars. So, so there's a thirty thousand dollar hit that that bank takes. Well, guess what happens? You get a ten ninety nine for thirty thousand dollars that you have to pay taxes on. And guess what? If you're married, you both get it. So, whenever people are trying to be vindictive and just let a house go into foreclosure just to be an asshole, just to like ruin people's credits or whatever, instead of doing something like fair by listing it and selling it and splitting whatever, like it will come back to bite you in the IRS ass. So don't do that. Talk to a realtor, but make sure you talk to an educated realtor. Okay. Because if you're, if you're looking at foreclosure or if you're in a situation where a significant other is trying to screw you over like that or an ex I'm sorry an ex significant other I would talk to a realtor and and really find out what your options are hope everybody is having a great Thursday bye